I'm Cape Jewel, and this is Comic Smack, your weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic book show where I give you your fix of everything you need to know from the world of comic books and superheroes. And on today's show, we are taking a closer look at Superman issue number 42. Learn the secret history of Boy Zaro, the alternate world version of John Kent. What'll happen next? Well, let's hop on in together and find out. Alrighty then, so the comic opens up in Bizarro world. We see the man himself, Bizarro, not to be confused with the Lex Luthor clone. This guy's the real McCoy. He's talking about the birth of his son or his death day instead of birthday. Again, this is Bizarro World we're dealing with, so everything means the opposite of what you're saying. It would seem that Boy Zaro, son of Bizarro, doesn't exactly respect his father so much and all the work he does to destroy Bizarro World, by which of course I mean save Bizarro World. Also, unlike the Kent family on the main Earth who have a beautiful idyllic life together where they all love each other very much, the Bizarro family is super abusive. Or maybe in a world where everything is topsy-turvy, perhaps abuse is health? Again, it's kind of hard to decipher sometimes. Bizarro World's so crazy. The important thing to know, though, is that while his parents are fighting, Boy Zaro runs off on his own, and in a interesting twist of luck, he ends up coming face-to-face -face with Superboy and his friend Kathy. What are they doing here? Well, it seems that they've taken a page out of the Rick and Morty playbook and are having fun interdimensional television adventures, looking in on other worlds and seeing how they live. It's interesting to note, too, that John has come all the way to Smallville to visit Kathy, who is herself an alien and also incredibly intelligent, so she was able to build the dimension hopping stuff. And yet she's still treated like a child, and in fact still lives alone after the fallout of a past Superman story arc. Huh. John is still crushing on Kathy super hard, and in fact in his lovebird state he shirked a bunch of chores back home that his mother is going to be super ticked off about. Later that night at dinner, Superboy tries to stay coy. Oh no, I wasn't visiting anyone. No, I'm not in love. You know, I was just doing trading stuff with Damien. Of course, when your mother is a Pulitzer Prize winning journalist and your father is a literal god amongst men, it's kind of hard to lie to them. Lois and Clark think the whole thing is adorable, by the way, but John just really does not want to have this conversation with his parents right now. So much to the point he runs off to bed to avoid the conversation, which, you know, it suits his super parents just fine. They were ready to Netflix and chill, so, you know, the sooner he goes to bed, the better. Another idea they play within this issue is that John in his heart of hearts really misses Smallville that he's not suited for the city but on nights like tonight when he's together with his family who loves him he can't think of another place in the multiverse he would rather be and then at that very moment as if he willed it into being Boy Zaro ends up crashing through Superboy's window like he was the freaking Kool-Aid man oh yeah or I guess whatever the opposite of oh yeah would be on Bizarro world so that was Superman number 42 everybody and overall well it was kind of a slow burn issue, it does a good job setting up the new plot direction for this story arc. I've always been a super huge fan of Bizarro and Bizarro World as a concept, so it's really nice to see Tomasi tackle this one before he ends up leaving the book and his time is done. I know I've heard some people complain that the first part of this comic was hard to read because it's all written in Bizarro speak. I don't really understand the problem. It means the opposite of whatever you're reading. Happy to see Kathy come back, too. She seems to be quite useful as a character, a big brain who's able to create interdimensional travel devices. Hey, you know what, if they ever think of growing the Super Sons team, I think she would make a pretty interesting addition, don't you? Especially if they want to continue this whole junior romance between her and Superboy. Overall, I think I'd feel comfortable giving this issue a 7.5 out of 10. So that's Superman, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, be sure to take a closer look at some of these other videos I've been working on. Then you can follow me on social media at Cape Joel, so you always know what I'm doing next. And hey, if you like what you've seen or feeling in a supportive mood, please check out my Patreon link down in the description. Patrons get exclusive access to videos and content before anyone else and you can do so for as little as a dollar a month. And until next time, everyone, this has been Gabe Joel. Thank you so much for watching and listening, and I'll see you all again later. Bye-bye.